Hey people, welcome to today's show and welcome to the channel. This is part seven of Detroit Become Human. Um, I, so far I really love the game. Uh, and I ex especially love seeing your your guys' interest in how I'm playing this. I'm, I'm glad that I can give you some good entertainment and or knowledge uh, about, about the game and how I play through it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Detroit Become Human is a, is a, a game made by Quantic Dreams and they, they primarily work on the, with Sony to, to, uh, to put out great titles. They, they are basically an interactive movie and interactive action adventure type of story. Uh, this game, all basically all of Quantic Dream games are, are very uh, 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 spectacular and in, in in with how they present the story and how they introduce the, the, the mechanics of the game play to, to properly involve us be the, the the audience that we're playing this on Steam, I I have let's see, I have Fair Fahrenheit, um, and Beyond Two Souls, and on on the the PS Four. I, well, PS3, I have Heavy Rain, Beyond Two Souls, and, and Fahrenheit. And this, this time I, I, I am playing the game over on my, on my PC using the PlayStation Plus app that is available on well it's available for for um PC users who still want to have PlayStation Plus but give the game a moment to load up. I will be, I will be stream, um, doing my next playthrough with the camera on, just so you guys have my lovely face to look at. <laughs> I, depending on the game, I like to, to... Hi, welcome back to Detroit. I hope you've enjoyed your experience so far. Yes, I have. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, before I 
I before the game turned on, I I like to to play, play the game for you with and or without the 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 camera on. It just depends on the type of game that I am uh, recording for YouTube. So, but let's keep going here. This is, again, this is part seven of Detroit Become Human. I'm gonna be, be quiet now and play through a chapter or two. We'll see how far I get today. Also, if you haven't decided to, to subscribe or follow the channel, both of my channels, YouTube and Twitch, you can do so by clicking the link below in the description for the of my Twitch page. Plastic with you? Only temporary. Mm. Usual. You know it. Come out. Hey, Hank. How you doing, man? Hey, sick. Hey, listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? That shit hot tip you did. You said you had to bring it to Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Excuse me. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? There you go. Ah. that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Enjoy your meal. For your room. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. 
And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please? They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. The rest doesn't concern me. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. This place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Probably initials. 
put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. was actually feeding these fuckers. Any idea what it means? RA-9, written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Thank you. 
Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it! We know what it looks like, it won't get far. Come on, let's get out of here. I've seen enough vegetables for one day. That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't programmed to fail. 
Oh, well, you fucked up, Connor. Welcome to the club. like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. You're no freer than you ever were. You've only found a new master. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place.
could shake that night. My diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No. I don't want to shut down. Humans are afraid of dying, too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this.
Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Simon, I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. You use Lotco? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait! We really need your help. Come in. Come on in. Don't be shy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house.
Please. Make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. this place and that man let's go I have a bad feeling somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what 
strange. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. <laughs> so, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. I'm so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. You. Carl, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. You bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Carl, wake up, Carl! Meet me in the living room.
creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. You must remember who you are. Otherwise the little one will die. Master's dinner's ready. Take it up to him. Yes, Luther. Just set it down on the table over there.
Get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It took off the word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lotko. Yes, Slako. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes.
you okay? We'll get some help here. they find us. That's not how I wanted that to end. Well, I guess I will see that part again in, oh, excuse me, in my next, in my next playthrough of the game. But when I, when I do get that, get out of the house, I will, I will, um, post that part 
up on YouTube to show you. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to call it here for the night and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Detroit Become Human. Thank you very much for coming and watching. I really appreciate the, the view. Don't forget to like and subscribe to both of my channels if you ha haven't done already. Thank you once again very much and be good to one another and treat each other like like you want to be treated, okay? That's b that's b b that's my my daily thought for today. I'll see you next time. Bye. Have a good day.